hey ladies welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how to do your own acrylic nails from home using this salon dip kit from kiss now let me just say this kit is sold out everywhere but luckily i found this kit on amazon for 17 dollars even though at the store it's 12 dollars let me just say it is worth every dollar okay you guys know i love me a good press on nail but after doing um, this set on my nails. I'm sorry. I'll never go back to press-ons. This is the closest you're gonna get to that salon acrylic fresh set look Okay, so stay tuned to see my results, but ladies, I, I'm telling you this kit I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description box. Please get it. I highly recommend it I see why it is sold out. But anyways, let me stop talking and get into this tutorial It is very simple and easy if you're scared of doing your own acrylic, acrylic nails, please don't be, okay? This is so easy to, to apply. So the first thing you want to do is off camera, I chose, I picked out all the tips that fit my nails perfectly. Make sure that the tips that you put on your natural nails is not too small because if it's too small, it's going to pop off and it's going to cause lifting. If it's too big, that's perfectly fine. Just, you know, file off the side so that it can fit, but never put on a tip um, that is too small because it is going to pop right off. Okay, and this kit comes with everything. So right now I am taking the brush on gel. Okay, and I was actually shocked that it it uh, stuck very well because it's gel and not glue. But the instruction says you can use the gel as a glue. So you don't have to spend your coins on um, purchasing a nail glue. But anyways, all you do, first step is apply the, the tips to your nail. Now, all you have to do is blend your natural nails to the tips. The only reason why is because these are not press-ons. These are like acrylic nails. So you want it to blend flawlessly. You don't want to see, see the line of demarcation when you do your polish, you know. So do not skip this step. This is very important, ladies, okay? So all you have to do is literally just this blend where the tip and your natural nail meet. That's all. Then you want to shape your nail to your desired look. Me, I wanted to go for a nice old fashioned, okay, uh, square nail. Also, even though I love coffin, I was kind of scared because this is my first time. So I said, you know what? Let me do a, a square, okay? You can't go wrong with square. So right here, this is step number three. I'm sorry if this is going by quick, but let me just say that's how fast and easy um, using this kit is, okay? Now, all you have to do is take the brush on gel, apply it as if you was applying nail polish, and then dip it into the dip powder, okay? I'm so glad that this kit came with this clear, uh, I don't even know what you call it, but it was a big help. So pretty much all I did was I apply the brush on gel and then I took every one of my nails stuck it in the powder took it out and then I just um um buffed it out like you see me doing here and I did three coats of this now you could do more coats but I felt like my nails was the thickness that I liked as you can see and this is how my nails look after three coats of me applying the gel and putting um my finger in the powder I just buffed that away and then the next step is all you have to do is reshape the nail. This is very important because um, you have the acrylic on your nails now. Sometimes it can throw off the shaping. So you want to make sure that you go ahead and reshape. If you do not reshape it after you apply the gel and the powder, your nails are going to look crazy, sis. Okay, so what you want to do is. After you have brush, brushed out the excess powder, you want to apply the green activator. We see it's green, right? That's very important. Take the activator and apply it on each nail and um, let it dry on your nail for three to five minutes. It's very important that you put the activator. If not, it's not going to harden. You need your nails to harden so that when you go in and shape the nail, it doesn't... Um, break fold and lift on you it is very important that's why it came with the kit do not skip that step okay after you apply the brush on gel with the powder please put the activator ladies 
because then you're not going to be able to do what I'm doing right now. Okay. So as you can see right now, I'm just reshaping my nail. I'm going for that really square look. And if you want to go for a squared look, all you have to do is hold your um, nail file 90 degrees and go up and down, straight up and down on both sides so they can be even. Also, I didn't want to trim the nails because like I said, this was my first time. So I was kind of scared to trim the nails because next you know it, they're not the same size. So I wanted to keep it safe and not trim it. Personally, I like my nails long, but if you like your nails short, it's best that instead of using a nail clipper, you just use a scissors and you cut straight across. But just make sure that your nails are even. Um, for me, I didn't have to check if they were even because, like I said, I didn't cut mine. And I hope that I'm explaining how to do this the, um, in a way where you can understand it. If not, girl, you can just mute this video. I won't get offended. You mute it and you just watch me do it because it's pretty, it's pretty self-explanatory, sis. But you want to take your time and shape all the nails because this is what's going to give you that salon finish look. You have to customize the nail to your liking. So if you want to do coffin or whatever, whatever shape you desire, just make sure that that you just take your time. And this is how your nail, this is how my nails looked after I shaped it and I put the activator. Doesn't it look like I came out the salon? Like I was so happy. And then here I am. I just put um, a base coat on, like a one thin layer of clear nail polish. Okay, this is without polish. Looks so beautiful, right? Literally looks like I went to the salon. And now I was going to leave it clear, but I said, no, let me just paint my nails. Honestly, I was a little scared to paint my nails because this was my first time, ladies, painting my own nails. And I thought the polish would get everywhere, but... It didn't. I guess I had great beginner's luck because I, I applied the polish. And once I applied the polish, that's when I said, oh, hell no. I have to tell my subscribers about this to get this kit because I was just blown away by my results, ladies. By the way, if you're wondering where I got that polish set that you see, it's from Amazon. I don't know about you guys, but from this quarantine, I just been ordering so much stuff on Amazon. I ordered the rest of my furniture on Amazon. I can't wait to show you guys my apartment. My beautiful furnished apartment is now fully furnished. A lot of you guys have been asking me for apartment tour. It's coming soon. But I got this from Amazon, the polish that you see in the background. Um, this polish, though, the pink polish I got from my local beauty, supp beauty supply store before the whole quarantine. But, I mean, you can just literally go on Amazon and look up bubblegum pink polish and whatever polish will do. You don't have to use the same exact one as me. But, you guys, didn't I do a good job? I'm so proud of myself. Like, I'm not going to put on press-ons for a very long time. After this, though, I will try to attempt doing my own acrylic nails with acrylic and the acrylic brush. Because I feel like with the dip kit, it's kind of cheating. But if you're new, you're a beginner, and you're tired of press-ons, I recommend this. Let me just say, it has been a week and a half. My nails look beautiful. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that um, I showed you, I, I was telling you guys that I, I couldn't believe how beautiful my nails came out. And that was like a week ago. Here I am, and my nails is still beautiful, Okay. So like I said, I know I was talking pretty fast. If you didn't catch on to how to successfully, you know, do your nails so it could look like this, just rewatch the video. You can mute me if you want. I won't get offended. And you just watch it for yourself. It's very self-explanatory. And I put two coats of the polish. This is regular polish. It's not gel or anything. And um, because I didn't have a nail dryer, I used my fan and I sat under my fan. I let my nails sit under my fan for 15 minutes and it was fully dry. After it was fully dry, then I put my top coat that I got from Sally Hansen, which I love because it's an instant dry top coat. And when it, they say instant, they mean instant. I'm going to see if I can find the link to the Sally Hansen top coat that I use 
because it dries your nails so fast. And I'm just in love with this color. Like, it looks, it goes so well with my beautiful rings. I was so depressed, guys, because my press-ons were beautiful, but I found out they started popping off. And I don't know, this press-ons, no matter how well you try to make them look natural, they look like press-ons. So thank, I'm so thankful for Kiss for coming out with this kit. You know, um, I, I just, I'm loving that I'm just picking up new skills during this quarantine, and I hope you guys are too. I don't even think I'm going to get my nails done again when all the stores um, open up because look how beautiful. So once again, I applied two coats of the pink and then I went in with a clear top coat. And these are my results. Doesn't my nails look so bomb? I should have just um, filed them on the sides a little more because it's a little wide, but they look beautiful. So ladies, go get your, your kit and tell me how did it work for you. Until next time, Bella Gang or No Gang. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're looking to get my top coat that dries your nails quickly, just take a screenshot of what you see right there, the clear top coat. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I love you, ladies. Until next time, comment below if you guys would like to see me do my own acrylic nails with the brush. I can't wait. Like, I'm just so in love with doing my own nails now. It's crazy. But like I said, until next time, I love you guys. I'm praying for you. And once again, I love you.